Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Jay Board here with another video tutorial on how to possibly relieve some of the effery of AWCC. So, Alienware Command Center, I noticed uh, sometimes when you open it up, does not want to go directly into the screen, give you all the options, right? A lot of the time, you will get just a central loading, uh, this circular dot icon, and it won't stop. I am going to make a suggestion as to how to fix this and what might have happened. So if you're like me, you want to do all the optimizations that you can for your PC, your laptop, whatever you're using, right? You'll probably go through Task Manager and view some of your highest usage applications in terms of your CPU, GPU, memory, all that good stuff, because you want to make all available for competitive applications such as Warzone or any of the like. If you are like that, then this is the video for you, and we'll continue. So like I said, um, a lot of the time, you're going to go look at your services if you're like me. You know, first off, look at these processes, see which ones are the highest um, demand on all the components that make up your PC or your laptop. So if, as you can tell, I don't have anything that's too drawing on anything aside from Gamecaster right now. Um, it's all mainly system applications or applications that are designed to optimize the system itself. Um, so if you do see applications, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to services. You're going to find that application, and then you are going to take note of its name, kind of like here. The name for the process and the name for the service is going to be a little bit different. Keep that in mind. When you do find it, you can simply go in, right click, go to details, and then from there you can open up properties. Um, once you get into properties, be sure to kind of look at if there's any sort of compatibility issues. Uh, this troubleshooter is pretty helpful. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the time that is not what you need to do. Like uh, You should have some sort of application that can help you resolve those issues in the first place, such as Support Assist. It's kind of a pain in the butt application, but it is helpful. Um, anyway, back to the screen. So let's say you don't need to run a compatibility troubleshooter. Then we'll just go back to Services. Okay. From there, we're going to actually open up Services. And this is where you can go in and find, let's say, XTU. This mouse is pretty touchy, my bad. All right, and boom, XTU driver service. Obviously, the name is a little bit different. That's what I was talking about. This is uh, basically the same. So here, we can actually go to properties and select from these options here, automatic, manual, disabled. I have it on manual because the only reason that I will actually need XTU is if I have the application running. Um, and then overall, this service is only going to run when I have Alienware Command Center open in the first place because this is the central command center. Uh, it's what ties pretty much all these Alienware applications together to optimize the PC. So. The way that you can decide whether or not an application needs to run or can be disabled and or not be really an impact to the system um, is just use your, use your best judgment. Um, you can experiment with this stuff and figure it out. <laughs> Let's say you don't want PC Dr. Dell support assist open. Okay, properties. No, not properties. I'm an idiot. Um, it disappeared on me. Okay, whatever. We'll just find it in here. So, PC Doctor. Okay, now I, now I don't see it. Um, let's see. Let's look for support assist. We'll use the description here. Okay, let's 
we'll just try Dell Support Assist. Boom, there we go. So we have it highlighted. This will be good for reference. We can go in here, find Dell Support Assist. Boom. Okay, so as you can see here, I have it running. Um, and honestly, this is, this is probably good. I don't necessarily need it running. Um, on second thought, I have it on delayed start, so that way it's not going to be drawing from the CPU or anything else when it first starts. Um, and this is also something that... Sorry, I got a text. Okay. Anyway, you can actually manually disable this and it won't be there won't be any real impact to it because half the time that application doesn't want to load and it's kind of useless. It is helpful for whenever you need to optimize the PC and you want to just use this application to do it. Um, it's quick, easy, you don't really have to do anything except just sit there for five minutes and then it also does some updates for you. So we'll keep that disabled. Another um, option for you guys is to go in and get the run command pulled up. So from here you will type in msconfig and you'll find this application. From here you can view all the services that your system currently has running. I would recommend you hide Microsoft services just so you can make sure you don't disable anything that's integral to the system itself. <clears throat> so again from here you just uncheck all this because it, it doesn't necessarily need to be checked unless you're gonna just hit disable all which just for the sake of example we'll uncheck that one you see how that enabled all so you you actually have this ability what I went in and did is I enabled all because I disabled a portion of the Alienware command center and it was just giving me that circular um, loading screen wouldn't do anything else so what I did was this MS config through the run command and what do you know everything was checked and I just hit enable all rebooted the computer and boom here we are we got everything running you can go through fusion select whatever we want can mess with CPU GPU memory clock is still locked um, the only way you can really mess with memory is if you go into the BIOS and do it and have preloaded XMP profiles. So it's kind of crappy on that front, but work with what you got, right? And this is still one of the better uh, pre-builds you can get, at least for uh, a, few K, a few K anyway. Um, this is useless, but these four applications are, are pretty useful so I if you have an Alienware computer I know it's frustrating and there's gonna be a lot of questions as to how to fix something but simply this application tying everything together it's just too useful and I can't really justify not having access to everything it has to offer anyway if you guys have any questions um, if you need me to make any more videos on issues you're having I am more than willing to uninstall all this crap and then go through a process of reinstalling it and recording it in the process. Just let me know if that's what you guys want and I'll see you on the next one.